Oh. oh, hi. So this is Akai. And Akai is actually one of the first tortoises that I got. Uh, she's a leopard tortoise, which is from Africa, and one of the largest, fourth, I think, fourth largest mainland tortoises. So she's pretty much full size at 18 years old. Okay. Uh, and she too will live 75 to 100 years. Shell again, made of the same stuff as her fingernails and her hair. When she gets scared or goes to sleep into her shell, she goes and she'll close her door with her feet. Oh, she wants to keep coming out. She's got her little tail under here, her back feet. No, it's kind of yeah. a, like a hard. Yeah. I don't want it. And these guys are pretty smart. They'll travel long distances finding food and they'll often have multiple burrows where they can hide. So if it's getting too hot and they need to cool down, they know mm -hmm. exactly where to go. This must be have, can, have some air conditioning in it. <laughs> Maybe. These guys though. Keep it from the heat? Or does it absorb? Would it absorb? It does. Yep, yeah, absorb and keeps them warm. They do have to go into the like into the shade to cool down, or if they are getting too cold, into the sun to warm up. Um, just a herbivore that only eats greens. But that said, they eat a lot. Between our tortoises and our rabbits, we go through between sixty to eighty dollars a week in just greens. And a head of green, like romaine, is what dollar eighty. Wow. So it's a lot. Come summer, we're lucky we can grow as you much need of a it. Guard, yeah, you need yeah, your own little garden. Can, but through winter, we can't. So that's the thing is, you got to keep in mind some of these animals do take a lot of food, Money. time, and space. So some things like the geckos can be really easy. Um, other ones, not so much. Well, the day-to-day -day maintenance is a long time. There is the commitment and the space. So that's what happened with someone had her. They had her for like 15, 16 years, and they're like, yeah, we're done with her now. So Aww. she came to us, but she gets to travel around. Well, she's she has been, a good home now. Yep, she's been from pretty much Thunder Bay to, where, we've been all the way up to, I think Abbotsford is probably the farthest she's been. Ooh. So she gets around all over the place. <laughs> Are um, they affectionate? Like, would she like that? Or is no. that more for your benefit? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll put her back in here. <laughs>